Hi, I'm Paul Heimosh, and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the cool features that Helix 3.0 firmware will add to Helix and HX products. Now this is a significant update that not only adds a whole collection of new models, but it also adds some great new workflow options and some powerful new performance possibilities. Owners of all Helix and HX products will now find the following effects in their menus. Five polyphonic pitch effects, five new distortions, including three new fuzz models, two new delays, a new dynamic gate, a shuffling looper, an acoustic simulator to make your electric guitar sound more like an acoustic, and a stereo imager. For Helix and HX Stomp users, there are also three new amp models and two new cab models. I'm gonna get back to some of those effects in a moment, but first, let's take a look at some of the other features. If you own HX Stomp, you will now find eight blocks in the signal path instead of the usual six, as well as a new command center in the global settings page that will allow you to send out all kinds of commands to other pieces of gear. If you own a Helix Floor, Rack or LT, you now have the option of true preset spillover. Now this has been one of the most requested features since day one, but it's really hard to do and it does come with a price. So if you look in global settings, you can switch on preset spillover. Now whenever you change from one preset to the next, all the delays and reverbs will decay naturally over the top of the new preset, and there will be no small audio dropout as the new presets load, so switching between presets is now completely seamless. In order to do this, Helix needs to briefly run two presets at the same time, and it's going to do this by allocating the second signal path. So if we look at the home screen, we see that the second path is removed when you turn on preset spillover. This feature will be invaluable to some Helix users, but others may want the flexibility of having two signal paths. But now you have the choice, and there's always a shortcut, which is you hold action and press home to toggle in and out of spillover mode. Helix 3.0 adds favorites and user defaults for all users. So if like most of us, you find yourself programming presets and regularly using the same amp and effect settings, you will now find these new features really, really helpful. Dial in your favorite amp or effect settings, then from the home page, press action and choose add to favorites or user defaults. Adding the block settings to user defaults means that whenever you next load up that amp or effect for any of your own presets, it will load up with your own personal settings. Adding a block to favorites puts it in the new favorites menu. This means you can see your go-to effects all in one location. Using a combination of both of these features means that you could recall all of your favorite gear and settings incredibly quickly. Especially when you consider that if you choose an empty block and turn the joystick, all of your favorites will appear first. Another requested feature was that the auto impedance on the guitar input could change depending on the first activated block. So for all the fuzz users out there, this has now been implemented over in the global settings preferences. And from now on, any minimum and maximum values that you have assigned to effect for real-time control now have little indicators on the home screen. We also have some great new artist presets available. So how much is all of this gonna cost? Well, that is the best bit because it's absolutely free once you have the product. So thank you very much for watching and go get the update. Cheers.